Hi, this is Johnny from Johnny's Auto Repairs. Um, today, um, we're going to have a video on um, how to read and use wiring diagrams um, to help you repair your car. And um, what we'll be going over in this um, video is um, general automotive circuit um, symbols used in an example circuit and um, how to use um, the example circuit. We'll kind of diagnose various problems that could come and where you test for them and um, if you want, if you're looking for um, information on how to find wiring diagrams I'll put a link to my um, previous video on there and you can kind of check that one out too okay this is a um, general wiring diagram which would apply to a lot of the different um, components in a car um, starting up at the battery here hopefully you can see that cursor um, the um, positive battery usually goes to the fuse box and goes through a fuse and then um, usually there's a switch next and the switch turns on the relay and the relay um, supplies power to the load which could be a motor, a solenoid, or a light or something like that and then the, um, the load is connected to ground and um, the uh, components on the car are usually grounded to the um, chassis and that serves as like just a big ground for the whole car and then um, the chassis itself here is um, connected to the better negative battery terminal so it's kind of a um, kind of circular circuit like that and um, we'll um, look at a um, example of a um, horn switch here and um, we'll um, see how this applies to a national circuit okay here we have some common electrical symbols that you find on wiring diagrams and first up here is the battery um, usually you don't have a like an image of a battery. This is an OE diagram. Um, a lot of times um, you'll have a, um, something that says like hot at all times and it's implied that the batteries that's corrected that's connected um, directly to the battery and um, in this case the um, there's always power even if the key's not in any condition and um, over here we got the um, same kind of symbol but it says hot and on or start so um, if the keys if the keys not in the ignition you don't have power but if it's he's in the ignition or you're in the start position you got power over here okay next here we got a fuse it's pretty some of these are pretty obvious it says horn fuse so um, and the fuse will show you like if it's 10 amp or 20 amp and um, next is switch okay there's a switch here um, this shows the normal state if there's no power applied, um, in this case the switch is open and um, it's a two terminal switch here and um, the second terminal goes to ground. Okay, next is a relay. Um, this one's a, kind of a, ignore that. No, I don't want to restart my windows. Okay. Um, in this case, I mean it's a pretty large relay it's the way it's drawn and uh, the way this works is over here on the right um, it's normally open and um, when you get current through the control side here it'll um, close this relay and turn it on so next is the load loads can be like um, lights or um, horn or solenoids or thing, anything like that and um, and most um, loads have some kind of resistance in them and that's why you get the voltage drop over it and last um, we got a ground um, uh, most of the um, circuits end up at the at a body ground which is a ground for the whole vehicle that goes through the whole body and um, sometimes you get a symbol like this one on the left or um, this is more the classic symbol for ground all right, this is the um, circuit for a Kia Optima for the horn, and um, the horn is right in here, and um, the one of the terminals, number two here, is connected down to ground, and um, the um, terminal one is connected to the relay. The way this works is. Um, you have a hot at all times going to the battery and a 10 amp fuse on the top here so right here at this pin here and this pin you have constant power and when you um, 
turn the switch on down here it supplies a ground to this location here this pin and therefore current can flow through this winding and when this winding goes on in the relay um, the relay closes and you get power going through the horn and that turns the horn on so the relay is kind of the um, you can think of it as the center of the whole system um, if you're looking at um, diagnosing problems a lot of times you start with the relay because that kind of splits the um, circuit in half so um, we'll go through a couple um, you know problems you can have with your horn circuit and how you'd um, go about testing for the different things and um, strategies so you can kind of narrow down the problem yeah a couple of additional things on this wiring diagram here um, the um, the wire color will be shown here GRN here is green um, YEL for yellow and this will help you identify um, you know the wires and also if you look up here um, the horn relay in the fuse there's a dotted line around here and that in any case there's more to, to the um, there's more components than what's shown in this case um, the horn relay and the horn fuse are in the fuse box so this is a, like a small component of the um, the whole fuse box here okay if the horns not working um, would it be a good strategy um, what I do is um, most of the time if the horn if, if this um, in this case if the horns not working it's a bad horn most of the time so <clears throat> what I do is um, go right to the horn and um, you can check for power on um, pin 1 and ground on pin 2 or alternatively you could just take a test light um, put it um, between these two pins and go inside and hit the horn and if the um, um, the circuits good um, the, the um, bulb should light up and if it does then um, you know you have a bad horn now if you do this and the, the um, test light doesn't go on and you have a bad um, there's something else in the circuit um, the next thing I'd probably do is go up here in the relay and up here in the relay I'd check for power and this pin and that pin which should be hot at all times and one thing you can do is check to see if there's a um, um, a ground here when you um, hit the horn button you could put a test light between these two and um, you know when you hit the horn button that should go on so um, those are some checks you can do um, you know the horn switch is in the um, steering wheel so that's a little harder to get to so these are just some general strategies um, in diagnosing a horn or any other circuit and one thing to note is um, there's two types of diagrams that you're going to see this one's a um, a redrawn non-OEM um, diagram where some, someone has gone back and taken the OE diagram and gone through and um, redrawn it and this one um, um, if you look at the original one it's kind of interactive you can click on the um, the wire and it'll show where the wire goes and these are the ones I usually use um, but in some cases you want to use the you can use the um, original um, equipment the OEM diagrams and um, those are the ones that the like Ford or GM would produce I'll show you one of those in a second okay this is like a factory OEM diagram and um, you can see it looks like someone actually drew this by hand and um, these tend to be more accurate since they're not copied to a um, another diagram and um, as you can see here you have the um, the battery is actually a kind of someone drew a battery up here and um, you got fuses here and relays over here um, and then everything goes to the body ground on the bottom and then also you have the connector diagrams here hopefully this is showing up um, where the pins are and the colors for the wires and this is actually a diagram for a um, Kia Optima for the headlights and um, hopefully you can fo follow the cursor um, um, you get the battery and it goes through the fuses in the fuse box and 
is go to a relay here and when the relay is turned on um, the headlight lights up the um, these two are going to be hot at all times and the um, the power for the relay comes over here to the ignition and this is a um, there's more components and it refers you to another diagram W so if you want more details at that you have to go there okay and the control side um, you apply a ground here and it turns the relay on and this um, ground gets supplied through um, goes through a diode and then to the combination switch so you turn the um, um, headlights on you got a ground through here grounds this you get current through here and then um, the current flows through the um, relay through the headlight and then back down to ground okay this was just a, a basic introduction to reading wiring diagrams and hopefully um, you can um, got something out of it and um, if there's interest in this type of video if I got a lot of watches and likes um, I'll maybe make this into a series um, I mean each of these um, things like a relay could be a separate video in itself and um, I'll probably make some more videos where you look in, you're at the car and you use this diagram to do the diagnosis so that's I mean I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and those those help me out um, there's a lot of more this is kind of a basic video series um, I don't have the um, Pico scopes and you know the the fancy snap-on code re I mean scan tool so um this is pretty much an old school um, you know DIY you're in your garage and you're trying to figure something out and you don't want to go to the dealership and pay 140 an hour to get them to diagnose it so um, thanks for watching we'll see you next time